Hi right, guys, welcome back and I'm going to carry on where I left off. I'm going to create a splash screen. So I've got two XML files, this one and this one, these two XML files. And we're going to load up, we're going to tell our application to load up this uh, this activity, this class first when the application loads. So how do we do that? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go into our manifest file. We open up our manifest files, we can see our Android manifest. Now if we open up and have a look at this, these are our activity intents. So we're going to use an intent to start an activity. So when we start up an application, it looks for this action called main. And when it sees it, it says, oh, "Okay, we're going to we're going to this is what we want to load up our application," and it points to this this class main activity. So as is as it as it is, if we load up this run this program, see this it look look for this this uh, class, and it will come straight here, and it will go to the song create and it will set the content view to this activity main layout which is this screen but we don't want that we want we want this screen which gets called in our splash class so we want to, we want this we want this class to load up when we when we start our app so all we need to do is go back to our android manifest and we just change this to the name of our class our splash class there it is there. So we can test this. So we run it. And here we go. So it loads up our splash screen. But what we want is we want the whole point of a splash screen is to have a display for a few seconds and then go to another automatically go to another activity. Close this activity down and open up another activity, which is this one here. So what we need to do there then is we need to, so it's, we're quite happy that it comes to this class and it loads up this splash screen. So what we need to do is we need to use something called a thread. So we can generate a thread object just by typing thread space. So I'm, I'm just going to call, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it my thread. Call it whatever you want. And my thread equals new thread. And what we need to do is we need to open up uh, curly braces and we just enter that in there so we've got these curly braces and we're going to generate a oh not a ton a public void run method and we just want to get rid of this this uh, super run so we want to inside here we want to what we want to do is we want to tell our our splash screen to display for three seconds, or whatever, how many, how, however you want. I say three seconds is a far, is about, it's a nice time. You can say whatever, ten seconds, a hundred seconds, whatever, one second. So what we need to do is we need to tell it, tell the the application to sleep. So we type, let's start typing sleep, and we want to tell it to sleep for, I want to say three seconds. So this is some milliseconds. So three thousand milliseconds is actually three seconds. So I want to tell it to sleep for three seconds. Now it's coming up with a this moaning here. It's got this little squiggly line saying there's a problem. If we click on this, it's saying we need to surround it with a try catch. So we just click on that, and what it does is it surrounds that sleep method in a try catch statement. That, that's just for error in case there's an error, which hardly ever happens in this case. So telling it to sleep for three seconds. Now what we need to do is we need to create an intent. Because we want, we we intend to start a new activity, which is our main activity, which is where our main um, our screen is, our, our main screen, our hello world screen. So we want to start typing intent, and we want to create an intent object. Call it again, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it you know, start main screen. And it's going to be equal to a new intent. And what we need to do now is we need to get the application context and we need to call the class that we're going to use, in which case is this class, main activity, because you want it to start this activity and on song create will then open up this the uh, hello world screen. So we need to call main main activity dot class. So that's our there's our intent. Don't forget the semicolon. 
and then we want to start the activity and it's asking what, what, what activity do you want to start well we want to start this one here start main screen so it'll start that intent and what we want to do at the same time is when it starts that intent we want to finish this this activity so we type finish if we can type if we can spell right finish there we go and it will finish this activity so it will finish this it will close this screen down this splash screen and it will close this screen down and it will start this screen our main screen but at the end here see what this little squiggly line is that's the end of our thread so we want to close that off with a semicolon and then as soon as that at the end of that thread we want to basically start my thread we want to start this thread so we go my thread dot start and it will start this thread if you remember when I said about uh, our man Android manifest uh, looking for this main and then calling up this splash screen well it does open up our scrap splash screen now but we need to create a new activity so all we need to do is at the end of this this is this is all one big activity and we want to create a new one so we just go activity and it's said so there are two classes we can use splash and main activity well we've we've used the splash we want the main activity and we just close that off so we declared another activity in our man android manifest so what what that allows to happen is for this intent to run because it's got this main activity class and it will see it here this main activity so we can run that now we'll see what happens so there's our splash screen and then three seconds later there's our main hello world screen and if I close the window it closes the whole activity closes the whole application so that's that's pretty much it guys um, I hope this wasn't too confusing it's pretty straightforward I think um, if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing